Okay, Welcome back to another Source SDK 101 video tutorial, and today I will teach you about leaks. Now, I've mentioned leaks many, time befo many times before, and basically the easiest way to tell that your map has a, we a leak is when you compile it, and you go in your game and you have any, any water in there at all, or, you know, your skybox, your skybox will be pretty messed up, it'll be flashing around, like you can see all these things and your water will not look like water it will be clear you'll see the skybox underneath and the water will still be there just the texture will be completely messed up so the easiest way to find out if you have a leak is to save your map you know save it as anything I'll save this as tutorial and you're going to want to compile it compile your map but Put everything on, well yes, you want BSP, but put VI, Viz and RAD on no. And you're going to want to hit OK. And it should only take a couple seconds. I'm running this on a laptop, so it might take a little bit longer. But there we go. Now we're done. So now what you'll find is that I've compiled it. it you don't have to fully compile your map with lighting for you to find... Um, any leaks but and you don't even have to leave the game so what you want you are going to want to do is go to map and load point file and you're going to hit yes load default point file and you're going to see this big red line up here and it's the a red line is going to come from the nearest entity and this just happens to be a um, prop physics oil drum and you're going to want to fi follow this red line to your leak and oh there you go there's the leak right there now you can barely see it but it is there and that is a leak just this tiny this little gap will let your map escape into the dark void and you don't want this you want it's you want to keep it all plugged in you don't want anything to be able to escape but that is your leak right there that little tiny gap now, you're, to fix this, you're going to have to zoom in as much as you can. And really, the only way that you would have this little of a leak that is noticeable like that would be is if you were using the wrong grid size. Like I said, always keep it on good grid sizes. Like, I have, I had it on 4. I made it so that it was a leak, but you wouldn't get that if you were on a nice grid size like 16, which is what I actually like to make a lot of my maps on. So now you would just compile the map again, and you would load your point file up, and if it doesn't show up, there's no red line, it, it tells you like you can't load the point file or anything, then you would know that it worked, there is no leak in your map at all. So that's it for today. Stay tuned for some more tutorials. Comment, rate, do whatever. Do not forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.